Rome in the year 1621. Gian Lorenzo Benini stands at the threshold of an immense career. He's just 23 years old, but already he has an important admirer. It is the rich cardinal and art collector Scipione Borghese. Pope Paul V is his uncle Camillo Borghese. Scipione commissioned Bernini to make a statue. Borghese wanted a statue like Giambologna made some 40 years earlier for the second Grand Duke of Florence, Cosimo I de' Medici. It was a masterful sculpture of three figures and it is made out of one block of marble. Borghese wants something similar. Now Bernini decides to carve the story of Pluto and Proserpina, which is a mix of Roman and Greek mythology. It loosely explains why there is sun and joy in spring and summer, and rain, storm, snow and misery in fall and winter. Here's the story. This girl Proserpina was a child of Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Kairis, the goddess of corn and harvest. One day Pluto, who was the king of the underworld and ruler of the dead, saw her, and he fell madly in love with her. Since there was no Me Too movement in those days, he just dragged her immediately down into the underworld with him. But as soon as her mother found out what had happened, she was so sad that corn and all the other crops stopped growing. The people of the earth are hungry and many of them are about to die. This is too much for Jupiter, so he strikes a deal between the two. Jupiter decides that during six months of the year, beautiful Proserpina shall be with her mother, and the other six months in the underworld, where Cerberus the Hellhound guards the doors. During the time Proserpina is with Pluto, Kairos doesn't work. Only rain and storms sweep over the earth. This is the time of the seasons, fall and winter. But when Proserpina is back with her mother, the sun begins to shine. Flowers, grass, corn and all the other crops grow again, because Kairos is happy. Spring and summer rule the earth. And so Borghese would also have a statue with three figures, and a spectacular one at that. Bernini took the moment of the abduction as his subject. It took him a whole year to create his masterpiece. Look at Pluto, who is obviously very happy and strong enough to lift Proserpina into his arms, with Cerberus at his feet. Watch the craftsmanship on the details, like the muscularity of Pluto, the fur of the three-headed hellhound, the soft flesh of the beautiful Proserpina, and the indentation Pluto makes on her legs. See the horror she obviously is experiencing, reaching for the sky, screaming for help. But Pluto is not going to take no for an answer. She is going down with him into the underworld, and there's nothing she can change about that. This and several other masterpieces can be admired in the Galleria Borghese in Rome which was once home to one of the greatest art collectors in the world. This museum can only be visited with an online ticket with a time code for two hours, after which you must leave so the next group of art lovers can have a look at some of the finest masterpieces of Italy. Don't forget to keep checking my YouTube channel for more masterpieces of Italy. I'm planning to show you much, much more masterpieces of the number one Baroque sculptor of Italy, Gian Lorenzo Bernini. <laughs>